What's going on guys, RealTouchGML here back with another Game Maker tutorial and today is going to be our third installment on particles and basically the first two tutorials I kind of gave you like the basics on actual particle systems and how to make a very basic one that didn't look really good but I mean it was a particle system and today I'm going to be showing you a program that makes it a ton easier to actually create particle systems for your game. So basically, it's Particle Designer 2. I believe it was made in Game Maker. I will put the link to download in the description for sure. And basically, what this does, if I went ahead and go to Test Stream here, as you can see, it's a it shows the particles in real time as you change it. So it can be a, a very big hassle actually debugging with <clears throat> Game Maker and trying to get it exactly how you like. Uh, actually testing it instead of you know coding it then test running it and then going back and changing something then running it again and back and forth back and forth this actually does it in real time so for example if we change the color to say green as you can see it changed it changes the green here and all of these settings on the side here you can mess with so gravity we can set to 0 0.1 it hit change as you can see now there's actual gravity and I think this is just a ton easier for people to use. So as you can see, there's speed. We can say max 10. So now check that out. That's pretty cool. Uh, you can change the lifespan. You can change how many are emitted. So if we say like 50, there's a ton more emitted there. So let's let's say we wanted this. And, and you can add more particles. You add more emitters, all of that stuff. But let's say we wanted this. What we're going to do is we go to export entire system, GML, I'm just going to name it test. And once we've got that here, I'll stop it real quick. We're going to head, we're going to head into the directory of where we saved it. So I just saved it in like a, a temporary folder here. And if you go, if you run the, or right click the test.gml and edit with notepad plus plus or notepad or whatever you, whatever's good, then copy copy the code in here so this is the actual code that allows you to make it in game maker so we'll go over to game maker now we'll create a new new object in the step event we will paste it down now I'm gonna change some things here I actually don't want it to emit you can do this yourself but um, I'm going to say part particles create and then the index is s s name here I'll just say s name at x y part type is going to be particle 1 and number and this is how many are emitted so we'll say 50 like we did when we tested and s name we actually need to create that as a particle system so if you remember in our last tutorial uh, we had to create a particle system then actually base it off of that so here's the code for all of that uh, particle one is our particle and this is our system that sh this should all make sense to you if not then you can go ahead and check back on my other tutorial but now if we go ahead and run it as you can see there it is that is the particle system that we created in here if we go back to it there it is so go leave a like, go and subscribe. This download will be in the description. I think this is very helpful, and I'm not sure who made it, but I will put credit in the description as well. So go leave a like, go and subscribe. Let's try to get this up to 20 likes, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.